Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making that beautiful cornbread in a cast iron skillet. And all you cornbread aficionados out there know that nothing quite beats the flavor of that toasted corn layer that you can only get in a cast iron skillet. Plus it looks really cool on the table. And this video was actually requested by a channel called Moo Cow probably a couple of months ago. Sorry it took so long, Dave. But hey, better late than never, my friend. Okay, now to make this classic skillet cornbread that's not only perfect with any meal, it's also great as the star ingredient in your cornbread stuffing. Place a 10 inch cast iron skillet into a 400 degree oven so they can both preheat while you make the batter. Okay, now in a large bowl, stir together two cups of gluten-free flour or regular all-purpose flour if you're not on a gluten-free diet. And I use Betty Crocker's flour blend, but I'll put a link to my flour blend in the description box. One and a half cups of fine ground cornmeal, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And once you've got the dry ingredients pretty well mixed, you can set this aside. Now in another bowl, lightly beat three eggs at room temperature with five tablespoons of sugar, which really won't make this sweet, so if you want a sweeter cornbread, you'll have to add more. And when the eggs and sugar are pretty well combined, add a half cup of either vegetable oil or melted lard or baking grease if you want to go old school. Add one and a half cups of whole milk and one cup of buttermilk. Or if you don't have buttermilk, you can add two and a half cups of whole milk with one teaspoon of added vinegar. Then beat the wet ingredients together until you've got them well combined. Now add the wet mixture to the dry bowl and using a rubber spatula, mix until you have a thick, homogeneous batter. And the batter should have a dense consistency that you'll actually need to manually spread in the skillet. Remove the pan from the oven and add four tablespoons or a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil or melted lard or shortening. Then swirl to coat the bottom and sides of the pan. And I know this looks like a lot, but the grease is actually going to come up around the batter and coat the top and give this whole thing a crunchy crust that you're not going to believe. And when you have all the batter transferred into the skillet, you'll need to smooth the top with a spatula or the back of a spoon. And once you have the top and edges smoothed out pretty nicely, bake it for 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown and a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Allow it to cool for five or 10 minutes. Then you can either turn the whole cornbread out onto a serving plate or just cut yourself a slice right from the skillet. And just look at that beautiful, crunchy, golden crust on this cornbread. That's the magic of cast iron, folks. I love it with just a little butter or sometimes some honey if I'm having it for breakfast. And of course it's perfect as the star ingredient in that sausage and cornbread stuffing that just has to grease the Thanksgiving table. You really gotta try this, folks. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's easy cornbread recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.